Good morning. I'm still reporting on the Clintons. Remember the September 7th Commander-in-Chief Forum where Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton appeared separately but back-to-back -back for 30 minutes each? According to an email forwarded to us late last night and originated from a Comcast email address, the technical crew for NBC, which produced the event, is now speaking out about what took place moments after Clinton walked off the set, a massive profanity-laced tirade aimed at NBC's host, Matt Lauer. It turned out that Clinton had been fed all the questions for approval in advance of the forum. But then, after the approval process, Matt Lauer had a change of heart and decided he would start his questioning with an unapproved line concerning Clinton's use of an illegal private server for her sometimes classified work-related emails. Let me ask you something ahead of time that I'll ask Mr. Trump in a half an hour. To the best of your ability tonight, can we talk about your qualities and your qualifications to be commander-in-chief and not use this as an opportunity to attack Mr. Trump, all right? And I'll ask him the exact same thing. I think that's an exactly right way to proceed. Okay. This is a very important decision uh, for our country, and each of us should be presenting our experience, our expertise, and our plans to protect and defend the United States and our allies around the world. What is the most important characteristic that a commander-in-chief can possess? Steadiness. An absolute rock steadiness, and mixed with strength, to be able to make the hard decisions because I've had the unique experience of watching and working with several presidents. So judgment is a key. Temperament and judgment, yes. The word judgment has been used a lot around you, Secretary mm -hmm. Clinton, over the last year and a half, and in particular concerning your use of your personal email mm -hmm. and, and server to communicate while you were Secretary of State. You've said it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. You said you made not the best choice. Mm -hmm. You were communicating on highly sensitive topics. Why wasn't it more than a mistake? Why wasn't it disqualifying if you want to be commander in chief? Well, Matt, first of all, as I have said repeatedly, uh, it was a mistake uh, to have a personal account. I would certainly not do it again. I make no excuses for it. Uh, it was something that should not have been done. But the real question is the handling of classified material, which is, I think, what the implication of your question was. And for all the viewers watching you tonight, I have a lot of experience dealing with classified material, starting when I was on the Senate Armed Services Committee, going into the four years as Secretary of State. Classified material has a header which says top secret, secret, confidential, nothing and I will, I will repeat this, and this is verified in the report by the Department of Justice. None of the emails sent or received by me had such a header. Of Director their Comey also said this after reviewing all the information. He said there is evidence to support a conclusion that any reasonable person in Secretary Clinton's position should have known that an unclassified system was no place for that conversation. Well, Matt. I, I just respectfully point. According to a Comcast official, the parent company of NBC Universal, who apparently was quoting those on the set, when Matt posed the one legitimate question about the FBI investigation concerning her homemade server and the unsecured emails, we could see she was beginning to boil. According to an NBC associate producer of the forum, as soon as Clinton got off the set, she exploded. Hillary proceeded to pick up a full glass of water and throw it at the face of her assistant, and then the screaming started. She was in a full meltdown, and no one on her staff dared speak with her. She went kind of manic and did not have control over herself at that point. How these people work with this woman is amazing to me. She really didn't seem to care who heard any of it. So judgment is a key. Temperament and judgment, yes. You really had to see this to believe it. She came apart literally unglued. She is the most foul-mouthed woman I've ever heard. And that voice at screech level, awful. So judgment is a key. Temperament and judgment, yes. She screamed she'd get that effing lower fired for this. 
Referring to Donald Trump, Clinton said, if that effing bastard wins, we all hang from nooses. Lauer's finished, and if I lose, it's all on your heads for screwing this up. So crooked Hillary fears the gallows, eh? Interesting. So judgment is a key. Temperament and judgment, yes. Her dozen or more aides were visibly disturbed and tried to calm her down when she started shaking uncontrollably as she screamed to get an executive at Comcast, the parent company of NBC Universal, on the phone. Then two rather large aides grabbed her and helped her walk to her car. Matt Lauer was massively criticized for the rest of the week on air by the Clinton campaign and the rest of the MSM as having conducted an unfair and partisan attack on Clinton. According to the email, calls were made to the New York Times, The Washington Post, Huffington Post, and Twitter executives with orders to crush Matt Lauer. One staffer on the Clinton campaign told the NBC staff that they all fear Clinton's wrath and uncontrollable outbursts, and one described Hillary as an egotistical psychopath. Since Hillary does not allow any staff to have cell phones when she is in their presence, no footage is available. Interim DNC chairman Donna Brazile, the first black woman to hold the position, was singled out by Hillary during the rant. She screamed at Donna, I'm so sick of your face. You stare at the wall like a brain-dead buffalo while letting that effing lower get away with this. What are you good for, really? Get to work. Janitoring this mess. Do I make myself clear? So judgment is a key. Temperament and judgment, yes. A female NBC executive said that Donna Brazile looked at Mrs. Clinton and never flinched, which seemed to enrage Hillary all the more. The executive continued, it was the most awful and terrible and racist display, such a profane meltdown I've ever witnessed from anyone and I will never forget it. So judgment is a key. Temperament and judgment, yes. That woman should never see the inside of the Oval Office, I can tell you that. She was unhinged and just continued to verbally abuse everyone. She was out of control. Why did Lauer ask his rogue question? According to sources close to Lauer, because the American people deserve an answer from the former Secretary of State. Now, having said all this, why aren't I 50 points ahead? Here's your problem. Someone set this thing to evil. I'm still reporting from Washington. Good day.